watercolour, it could be quite daunting to have a blank canvas. Where do you start? Skies are such an important aspect of any painting, any picture. Um, but it can be quite scary looking at it. I want to show you today just how easy it is. And the more you relax with it, the easier it becomes. All right. So we talked in the previous video about the wet on wet techniques. We're going to be using that today. And what I want to do first and foremost is a very quick sky, blue sky with a bit of puffy cloud. Simple technique. First, my, my watercolour paper is cornered with masking tape just to keep it nice and tight. I've also fixed it onto a board, which is at a slight angle. Obviously you can't see that here, but what that will do is make the water run down. Okay, so I'm gonna mix my color first. I'll go for a very deep blue on here, very deep blue, just to emphasize the, the sky. Okay, so I've got my nice blue color in there. I'm gonna get my brush. I'm using my flathead brush on here and I'm just gonna wet the page quite liberally. I've just spilled a bit of paint on there, doesn't matter. There you go, you can get rid of that very quickly. Right, so off we go. So just let that water drip down. Doesn't matter if you miss a few bits, but ideally this is a wash, so we wanna kinda of cover the whole lot. Got my water on there, just get me paint. I'm just gonna start from the top, you look at that color, lovely. You can see it dripping down. As it gets to the horizon, I'm just going to add a lighter colour to add a little bit of yellow just into the horizon, just to horizon it up a bit more to make it look like it's going into the distance. Okay. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a bit more blue in there. Why not? We're talking about a lovely sky. So, obviously, watercolour does dry lighter than when you first apply it. Right, so now we've got our basic wash. I'm going to add a few clouds into it. Now I'm going to take a dry brush. I've just dried that up. Same brush again. I'm now going to go into it and all I'm going to do is just fill my way around. I'm going to have to keep drying it off because what I'm doing here is taking the excess water away. There's two ways you can do this. You can use a dry brush or if you want to you get a tissue Scrump it up and you just take it out. Depending on the type of cloud that you're looking for, it depends on how you want to use it. If you want subtle clouds, it's worth using the brush. If you want to take a little bit more cloud out and maybe bring it down, see, down to the horizon, there's a bit more cloud in the distance. Just using a bit of tissue. And that is as simple as it gets. I'm just add a bit more dirt. So what I've done, I'm just taking here, there's a bit more cloud at the, the whiter bit of the cloud is obviously at the top. So if you want to, just add a bit more, there you go. And then underneath the cloud, you've got this, where you've used the brush to take some of the paint away. You've got a slightly darker edge and that just gives the cloud a bit of contrast in there as well. And there, oops, get rid of that, that tissue. And there, basic sky with some clouds. Another sky uh, that I really like painting, which is really effective in watercolor, is the sunset. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a really cool little technique as well um, in this. But the basic rules apply. You need to get as much water on your your watercolor paper to start off with as possible because it's going to be a wash but obviously the colors are going to be slightly different we're not talking blue so much here so i'm going to mix my color first so i'm going to go for reds obviously reds pinks a bit of yellow and i'm just going to have a bit of fun with getting the colors on here as i say you experiment with these colors you do what you feel is right so as within any uh, sky you need to obviously start with the darker colours at the top, running down to the lighter, the lighter yellows as we go down. You need to get the paper ready now, so we need to put as much water as usual. Just run it all the way down to the horizon. 
I haven't done any drawing marks. I haven't put any marks here um, to outline my scenery because it's just to demonstrate the sky. Right, here we go. So let's get, get my colours set up nice. Okay, here we go. Look at that colour, this lovely colour. Right, so as I go down the page, I'm just going to add a bit more yellow into it just to see the contrast. Look at that. Oh, loving that. Obviously, the water's doing its thing, it's running down the page, it starts blending quite nicely. And down to the yellow at the bottom. Hey, don't be afraid of putting colour on here, like, that's just in itself. That's just a really nice, nice colour. I'm just going to dark that again, just at the top, just get a bit more colour into it. That's it, let it, let it run down. Yellow. So because it's still wet, you can manipulate it. You can you can go over it a few times, just to get your desired effect. Now, one of my favourite parts. This really is a cool trick. I'm going to get a two p coin. I'm going to get a bit of tissue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a two p coin in that tissue. And twist it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Sun now just lower in the sky what I'm going to do is pop it in there hold it there for five seconds or so take it away and there you have it you have a little sunshine dropping down into the distance just dropping away And that is a basic sunset with a little sun in there. So that's starting to dry quite nicely, but I just also want to add a few little wispy clouds just over the top. So I've just add a little bit of uh, blue into the mix of the sky. And I wanna make sure I've got a dry dry brush for this. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna just dry it off slightly and what I'm going to do is just touch it across the sky, but on the side of the brush. I'm using the same flathead brush. Just going to go across. Across the sun. I'll just add a bit more, actually, just a bit more contrast. into the background and if at any time you feel that it's gone a little bit too dark it's fine you can just you can dab it off with our with our tissue okay, it just adds a little bit of contrast into there and actually, further away from the sun, we might want to get a little bit darker, just in some of the some of the clouds over here. Obviously, near it gets the sun. Just, just somewhere, just in the background. Now, just to finish off this picture. I'm just going to add a, a line of possibly mountains, just silhouettes in the background. All right, so I'm going to go very dark here. Don't worry about the mixing. I'm just going to literally go black. And you can mix black a couple of different ways. You can either use your own black, which is on, on your palette, or if you mix the colors together, uh, a burnt umber with ultramarine is pretty good as well. If you've got those colors to hand, Add away. just
you have it. A very simple sunset picture. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit more just to this side. Lovely. And I'm happy with that.